Hello, welcome to Mr. Natural's Electric Classroom. First thing I'm going to teach you today is the Overtone series. I have a little um, paper there that you can probably barely see that I'm showing you right now. And that piece of paper has drawn out the Overtone series on it. I will be posting it to my website in the near future here. Uh, we're going to talk about the overtone series in preparation for a number of things. The tuning system itself, the intervals that it got, and how it got those tuning uh, intervals, and also to explain horns. So tonight what I'm going to try to do is explain vibrating horns. And the first thing I want to do is talk about the overtone series because the mechanics of a trumpet, the mechanics of a tuba, the mechanics of a trombone have a lot to do with the overtone series and how it works. And I'm going to first just demonstrate the overtone series here on the piano with you. And then in the next segment, I'll show you how that applies to open tubes and how that creates the natural open tunings on the horn and then how that translates into the fingering patterns for the trumpet. So eventually you can wind up making up your own fingering patterns. The important thing here is to give you an explanation of the physics of sound which will be applicable to open tubing and then once we get that in our head we can look at the machine itself the trumpet or the baritone or the French horn any horn with valves and horns with slides and we can look at the mechanics of that and see what's happening and why those valves do what they do so we can understand how to use them and why there are alternate fingerings. The mystery of alternate fingerings is completely cleared up if you understand the overtone series and you understand how that applies to music theory. Uh, to begin with, if we have a vibrating string that is tuned, let's say down here on my piano, I might have a string this long, and this vibrating string, let's say, is tuned to the note A. We'll call it, at the moment, A0. A. What happens is when that string begins to vibrate, the first thing that happens is the string is held down on either end, which we call a node, locked in place. And the entire string moves, bends up like this, and back down, being held at the nodes. And it moves up and it moves down. It'll then, the whole thing will come this way and move down like this and create a nice little mouth-shaped or bird-shaped arc like that. And as the string moves up and down like this in unison, it produces a fundamental pitch. It moves air on either side of it. And the air that it's moving and the, the motion of that air, the rapidity of it repeating, getting compressed and then pulled apart, that mechanical motion of molecules then moves across, comes into our ear, and we perceive that as sound. And this will happen for any vibrating string depending on its physical weight, the, ma the mass, the length of the string, and the tension on the string will determine the note. So now the note we're going to be working with here will be the note A on the piano. And this note down here is A0 on the piano. To better demonstrate this, I'm going to use A0 as a passive note, and we're going to use A in the first octave um, also as our standard for this whole overtone series that I'm about to explain. Now this note is vibrating at 550 cycles, they call it 8 hertz, or cycles per second for those of you who study physics. So this A1 or this octave here is 500 and or is 55 cycles per second. And when this whole string moves at once like this, it's producing that pitch, 55 cycles per second. Now, when the string vibrates, another thing that can happen is if there is more energy put into, or if this is vibrated on one end, say at twice the, twice the amount of energy is added to this, what happens is the string will overcome its initial inertia and it will begin to divide itself into twos. 
where here at the center will be a node and then it'll come down like this and come back up and then at the nodes on the end it'll be anchored. So one part of the string will be going up while another part of the string is going down. When it reaches its maximum height these will reverse and the string will divide itself exactly in half both sides and produce a pitch that is now two times that frequency. So another A will come off of this in the second octave at 110 hertz cycles per second. Again, what will happen is if I put more energy into vibrating one end of this string and make that vibration go higher and higher and higher in pitch, there'll be another point which is reached in which the inertia of this string can be overcome and it will be possible to divide the string into three segments. This time part of it coming here and landing there, part of it going below the wave and landing there, coming above the wave and landing here on the end. So as the string is being still held with two nodes on the end, two new nodes are created at exactly one third or 33 percent, 33.33333 infinity percent of the string and now I will get three times that string and I'm just going to leave this as a big question mark for now. Uh, but if we multiply this times three we would get the frequency there. And then what happens is the string will then divide itself into quarters or four pieces. One, two, three, four. And we'll have four waves moving along this string. And this will now be this octave again up here, A in the third octave, now up at 210 cycles per second. What will happen is the string will then go and divide itself into fifths and produce for us here a, another new note. It will then divide itself into sixes which will then produce another new note. It will divide itself into seven and seven is a really important number here as you'll see and then it will divide itself into eight and when it divides itself into eight little tiny segments in here, there'll be two of these in between each of these, we'll have another A up here in the fourth octave that is 440 cycles per second and this is the A right here that we use in the middle of the piano for the tuning standard, for concert pitch tuning standard in this country. This A is 440 cycles per second. The A below is 220 cycles per second, one half of that, one half of that is this A, 110 cycles per second, half of that is this A, 55 cycles per second, and of course 27.25 would be this A here, half, half of that. Each octave is an exact doubling or a ratio of 1 to 2. 1 to 2, 1 to 2, 1 to 2. No, stop that.